Every dairy producer knows that feed can easily reach 50 to 60% of operation costs. That's a huge chunk of overhead. That's why focusing on feed and ways to reduce waste or shrink and improve the efficiency of the entire feeding process can save you a ton of money. So today, let's look at feed center design and how it can help you. Herd and Feed TV visited one of the newest and most innovative feed centers we know of at TLK Dairy in Mountain Home, Idaho. Now here's what Terry Ketterling, the owner, says about his creation, and he calls it the pantry. Uh, for years, I've watched one of my most important expenses get blown away. And I had actually looked at a few other facilities that had semi put their feed indoor and eliminated a lot of the blowing. But for me, and as many cows as we have here, we need to feed more steady. So I was looking at a way that would not interrupt feeding. We could still take deliveries and accomplish the less shrink by wind and rain and snow and uh, birds and whatever else would come. So I came up with a plan to build a bridge We decided to put in batch boxes. Batch boxes are, uh, I call it like a big salad bowl. You put all of the ingredients for a TMR ration in that box and then the mixer box comes in, it dumps on them. It's on a scheduled mixing time. What it is is that the mix boxes spend only two minutes every load inside the pantry. The rest of the time it's driving or mixing on its way to the pens. And what the, it's done, it's just more efficient, no wasted motion, every, every tractor's moving continually. As we evaluate, as we've had the pantry, the mixes are exactly the same every time. What did we learn from this type of feed center design? Well first, the architectural design maintains the integrity of the feed, eliminating the effects of the sun, rain, and snow. Then it minimizes shrink by protecting the feed from the wind and the pesky birds. Each storage bin for ingredients are very spacious, enough to store them separately so they don't mix. The entire layout of the center maximizes the flow of each feed ingredient by allowing delivery trucks and loaders to work at the same time. So, whenever feed is delivered and whenever feeding is scheduled, loaders and trucks never cross paths. That's awesome. Grains and concentrates, including minerals, are delivered directly from above their bins, which allows trucks to pull through and drop commodities at any time, even when loaders are working. On the opposite side of the grains and concentrates are the forage bins, including hay and silage. These are delivered from the ground through bay doors, also away from the loading area. So all this makes it possible for loaders to always draw from the oldest area of a feed pile when each ingredient is taken for the mix. This improves the life cycle and consistency of the feed for the cows. Lastly, and key to the loading and mixing process. Instead of loading ingredients directly to a mixer, TLK uses a loading bin. Now, because the bins are fixed solidly on the ground, the scale more accurately weighs each ingredient when it's dumped by the loader. Now, the mouth of the bin is really wide, which helps prevent shrink. The bins can also be loaded while mixers are out feeding other pens, and then can be immediately dumped when the mixer returns. Now this entire setup allows mixers, loaders, and employees to continuously work. It's tremendously improved the feeding process so much that the investment in the design and the physical building quickly paid for itself, and now 
the dairy is reaping the reward of lower feed costs and higher profits. Again, that's awesome. This episode is sponsored by Amelicor, herd and feed management solutions. The folks at Amelicor recently produced a case study on the TLK feed pantry, where they describe the details and the numbers. So if you'd like to take a look at that case study, make sure you follow this address here below www.amelacore.com forward slash TLK dash case dash study. Now we've got more great episodes of Herd and Feed TV in the works, so make sure you click that subscribe button below. We'll see you next time on Herd and Feed TV.